What is going on, everybody? It's Sean O'Connell, the Managing Director here at Cinema Blend, and as you all know by now, the Game of Thrones reaction train rolls on whether we want it to stop or not. Uh, we are at Season 5, Episode 7. The title is called The Gift. I want you guys to follow along with all of these videos that we are recording heading into Episode 8, so go down, hit the subscribe button, Turn on your notifications. Every time we post a new video, you will be alerted to it immediately. You can keep up to date with my run through every episode of Game of Thrones. So I'm gonna react to season five, episode seven. Safe travels, Lord Commander. It's dragon glass. It's what I use to kill the White Walker. Theon, wait. Not Theon, my lady. Reek. Help me. What did he do to you? Please. You betrayed my family. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You have to help me, Theon, help me. Theos, you don't know him. Climb to the top of the broken tower. Light this candle and put it in the window. Promise me, Theon. Reed, my name is Reed. Your name is Theon Greyjoy. Last surviving son of Balon Greyjoy, Lord of the Iron Islands. Do you hear me? He's going to go do it right away. Yes, Reek. Get some sleep, Sam. You'll have to speak for him tomorrow. I can't leave him now. Hey! Hey! I dreamed that I was old. Hmm. You are, brother. His name was Aemon Targaryen. Oh, no. He came to us from King's Landing. A maester of the Citadel, chained and sworn. And sworn brother of the Night's Watch, ever faithful. No man was wiser, or gentler, or kinder. At the Wall, a dozen Lord Commanders came and went during his years of service. But he was always there to counsel them. He was the blood of the dragon. But now his fire has gone out, and now his watch has ended. And now his watch has ended. You're losing all your friends, darling. That threat? One day I'll be Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. But isn't your stepmother pregnant? What of it? What happens if she has a boy? Then I'll have a baby brother. But he'll be the heir. I'm Lord Bolton's eldest son. But you're a bastard. A trueborn will always have the stronger claim. I've been naturalized by a royal decree from... Tom and Baratheon? Another bastard. I nearly forgot why I asked you to join me. Come, my lady. Your northern friend. Rick told me he wanted to leave. Tough old bird. Everyone talks when I start peeling them. But this one... Her heart gave out before I even got to her face. Oh. You should hold on to your candles. The nights are so long now. The storm crows rode off last night. This isn't our time. We should head back to Castle Black when the snow clears. I retreated from King's Landing, Sir Davos. If I retreat again, I become the king who ran. Yep. If we march back to Castle Black, we winter at Castle Black. And who can say how many years this winter will last? It's better to wait for the right time than risk everything. This is the right time, and I will risk everything. Because if I don't, we've lost. We march to victory, or we march to defeat. But we go forward, only forward. But sometimes sacrifices must be made to ensure victory. I have shown you the power of King's blood, the usurper Rob Stark. Dead. The usurper Joffrey Baratheon. Dead. We don't have Robert's bastard here. No, we have someone better. And your blood runs through her veins. She's my daughter. Get out. But you want a little affection. Ooh. Get your hands off her. The lover Jon Snow's not here to see you. I killed a White Walker. I killed a Fen. I'll take my chances with you. That boy ghost. I'm all right. You're not. Oh. Oh, my 
I? <laughs> Bidding begins at 12 gold ounces. Do I hear 60? 20. Go! Oh. Wait! You have to buy me as well. Why? We're a team. All right. On the day of the great games, gather all the great masters and wise masters and worthy masters you can find and slaughter them all. I am a queen, not a butcher. All rulers are either butchers or meat. A lifetime of wealth and power has left you blind in one eye. You are the few. We are the many. Wow. And when the many stop fearing the few, These are complicated matters. No, it's not complicated at all. It's simple. I love Tristain. I'm going to marry him and we're staying right here. I don't understand. Of course you don't. You don't know me. <coughs> My dagger was coated with a special ointment from Ashai. They call it the long farewell. It takes time to work. But if a single drop makes contact with the skin, death. No! The only antidote. Don't drop it. I should have known you'd return to the capital as soon as things started to go wrong. I promise you. I promise you, Lord Baelish, that our fates are joined. Together we murdered a king. If my house should fall, I will have nothing to hide. And if I should meet with some accident here at your broken little flesh market, they'll never even find what's left of you. Do you deny a part in all this? Cersei summoned me to King's Landing. I dared not refuse her. And what did she want? A piece of information she knew that I had. Neither silence nor lies were an option. But I have other information of which she is unaware. And as you say, our interests are aligned. I have a gift for you. Oh. What kind of gift? The same kind I gave Cersei. A handsome young man. <laughs> what are you doing? <clears throat> Turn you piece of fucking... <laughs> A moment of your time. I brought you a gift. It's true. He has. Who are you? I am the gift. It's a pleasure to meet you, Your Grace. My name is Tyrion Lannister. We are making every effort on your behalf. I swear to you by all the seven gods. Lies come easily to you. Everyone knows that. But innocence, decency, concern. You're not very good at those, I'm afraid. Perhaps that's why your son was so eager to cast you aside for me. Leave. Yes. I'm afraid I must. My son needs me now more than ever. Oh. Get out, you hateful bitch! <laughs> Strip away the gold and the ornaments. Knock down the statues and the pillars. And this is what remains. Something simple, solid, and true. The Tyrell's finery will be stripped away. Their lies knocked down. Their true hearts laid bare for all to see. And so it will be for all of us. High and low alike. What will we find when we strip away your finery? Oh boy. Your ex coming back to get you. 
Oh boy. Look at me. Look at my face. It's the last thing you'll see before you die. Tywin's not here to help you anymore. Good ending to what is largely a another average episode. This whole season, this whole season has just been good, fine, not great. I've been waiting for one of those episodes to come along and knock me off my feet. And like things happen, little things happen, but there, there's not a significant push or swing or kick. And I've been saying this for the past few episodes. So let's go through pretty quickly what, what happened. John takes off, he and Tormon. Uh, Sam gives him the dragon glass. Sam later has to defend Gilly. And then uh, those two finally get together, which is great. Um, but Sam gets his ass beat by his brothers uh, on the Night's Watch before that happens. Sansa, having a horrible time with Ramsay, uh, asks Reek for help to light that candle, put it in the thing. Um, Ramsay, being better uh, than most expect uh, at playing the game, is ahead of Reek and Sansa and cuts that candle plan off at the pass. And... Um, kills the woman who said to Sansa, like, you have friends in the north and we'll help you. Uh, so she's really up Shit's Creek and is not going to get out. Um, Stannis says, we got to march now or we're never going to get there. So he's he's continuing his march towards Winterfell. Danny finally gets to see Jorah. Again, Jorah fights his way back to get um, some time with the, king, uh, with the queen and uh, turns over the gift, which I think is, you know, the gift... Is the title of the episode but there's another reference to a gif that is um when littlefinger is working with lady olena they're plotting and scheming against uh the high sparrow but the high sparrow finally gets his last dig in where he takes cersei as a prisoner because of her former fling that she had with lancel everyone's kind of manipulating themselves around the board uh people are shifting powers there's a lot of talk, uh, not a lot of whole, a lot of action. Um, it was cool to see Jorah in battle in the fighting pit. And it's fun to see Cersei imprisoned by the people that she empowered. But but this this episode, I mean, this whole season, like what was that whole deal with Bronn in the prisons where the, where the girl said she poisoned him but then just gave him an antidote? Like, so what was that for? We moved the pieces around the board a few inches uh, in the gift, but not a whole heck of a lot happens. Be sure to go down, hit subscribe, turn on your notifications. I will continue to work my way through all the episodes of Game of Thrones uh, before we get to season eight. And really, I pray with season five that something else big happens because this has not been a memorable season so far. We'll see you soon. We'll be back for season five, episode eight, and uh, meet you right back here on Cinema Blend's YouTube page when that happens.